Hi, it's Camille from Predator Education and in this video we will talk about hematuria as a symptom. Hematuria can present as a cause of a wide variety of diagnoses. You should consider the kidneys, the ureters, the bladder and also the reproductive system when considering hematuria as a symptom. And obviously it will be different for men and women. Always ask in hematuria histories about sexual health risk factors because this can be a causative factor for this symptom. And for some patients, it is very important to refer to urology clinic if needed for further investigations, scans and cystoscopy. So let's see a hematuria history in action and we'll take it from there. Hi, my name is Camille. I'm one of the advanced clinical practitioners at the GP practice. Can I start by taking your name and date of birth, please? Yeah, I'm uh, John, John Smith, um, and I'm 58. And nice to meet you, John. So tell me what's brought you into the practice today and how I can help. Well, um, I've noticed a little bit of blood in my urine. Okay. And at first it was, you know, I thought it might have been a one-off. Mm. But it's not really a one-off, which is why I thought I'd come and see you. Well, you definitely did the right thing. And it's one of the things that we ask patients to come in and see us about. So, so yeah, that's definitely something that we should check out a bit further with some more questioning and some investigations perhaps. So tell me about this uh, blood in your, your urine. When did you first notice it? Well, um, I think we're probably going back about maybe three weeks, three or four weeks. Okay. So I just went to the loo. It was in the evening, went for a wee and then wiped and saw that there was some blood. Mm. And then it kind of disappeared, disappeared for maybe the next few times I went and then, and now it's, you know, um, quite consistent. I even look in the pan and it's a little bit pink in there. Mm. So when you say there's blood in urine, it's not sort of dripping out blood. There's, it's mixed in with this, making the urine darker, pink, purple. Yeah, I mean, it can always, it can, you know, if it's, it's probably a little bit like um, kind of pinkish. Okay. Mixed with the urine. All right. And you've not noticed any bowel changes at the same time, nothing like that? Bowels are all right. Okay, fine, perfect. So tell me, around three weeks ago, did any change in your diet, anything like that that you've noticed? No, not really, no change. Sometimes I say be true, anything like that. No, no, definitely. No, I actually looked up on that on yeah. Google and I didn't, I, I okay. definitely haven't had any be true. Any sort of trauma, so typically it's things like, you know, car accidents, you know, with the seat belt lying across the, the lower abdomen, that can sometimes cause trauma. Anything like that you've noticed? No, no, I've been all right. I haven't hurt myself. Okay. Um, so tell me a bit more about, you know, when, the, when you're going for, to pass your in. Are you having any other symptoms such as any sort of hesitancy, meaning the urine is not flowing as it did once it did before? No, no, the flow seems to be all right. Okay, and are you going more often than usual? Uh, not quite, no. not really going more often. So not, do you normally go in the night once or twice or no? Normally once a night. Yeah, yeah. but that's not really changed since? No, no, definitely okay. hasn't changed. And when you're passing urine, is there like a burning sensation, stinging sensation, any change? No, d definitely no burning, no stinging. Okay, and you're going the same amount during the day as well as you would previously? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're having any lower back pain um, associated with this? Um, not, not quite in the back. Okay. Uh, not quite in the back. All right. Um, and you, you're sort of drinking same amounts of fluids and things that you did previously? Yeah, yeah, everything seems to be the same as normal. Okay, so it's the only real symptom really is that from what you understand is just this change in the colour of your urine. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. basically it. Okay, and um, you suspect it's blood because just because it's going red or pink? Yeah, and you know, I'll be honest with you, I have, you know, felt a little bit weaker over the past few months almost, okay. but I just put that down to, you know, just age, mm. nearing my 60s, and maybe that's just what it is. Absolutely. So tell me about this, you're feeling weak. Um, have you experienced any weight loss? I have, mm. in fact. I probably won't be able to tell you how much weight I've lost, rather. Mm. Um, but I've definitely lost weight. And how do you quantify that? Is it because your clothes are getting looser or yeah, people have gone, commented? I've gone down a belt size. Okay. And yeah, I just feel like I've dropped off some weight. Okay. And do you feel more, you said you're feeling low in energy, is that something that you've noticed as well? I just feel worn out. Okay. Um, just not very... Not Appetite very... the same? Uh, not as great as what it used to be. Okay. I'm a big eater mm. normally, but I don't really feel it much now. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's not the same. And another thing I wanted to ask you, um, obviously it's quite personal as well. Any discharge you've noticed? No, no discharge. Okay. No. Any sort of, you know, new growths around the penile, penis head, anything like that? 
No, no. You have not noticed nothing okay. like that. And again, obviously it's personal, but it's within the confidential realm of this consultation. We have to ask this. Any change in sexual partner? No, no. I'm just my wife and um, okay. been together for many years. Okay. Tell me about, I'm going to ask you more questions about your past medical history, if that's okay. Please. Have you got any other diagnosed medical or surgical issues that I should be aware of? Uh, I've got high blood pressure. Okay. Uh, but it's not, it's not high at all. I'm on, I think um, I'm on, I'm lodipine. Okay. But only, a re, only the introductory dose. Okay. I've been on it for about four or five years. And is your blood pressure under control? Yeah, yeah. Every review is normal. Fine. We'll definitely get that checked at the end of all right. the console as well. So no other medications? No. Are you taking anything over the counter? Um, things like pain relief, ibuprofen? No. No, okay. Are you taking any sort of herbal remedies, anything like that at all? No, nothing. All right, okay. Tell me about um, your sort of family history. Have you got any sort of, in the male side, have you got any sort of bladder, urology issues, anything like that? No, not, no history of uh, any bladder problems or anything of the sort. Okay. Sounds like it's just me. All right, okay, that's all right. So a little bit more about your lifestyle. Do you smoke any, at all? I'm afraid I do. Okay. How many do you smoke a day? I mean, probably about 20 a day. 20 um, a day. For as long as I can, I can remember. Okay, for many years. Any alcohol use? No, not really. Never been, never been one for the drink. Okay, all right. And what's your lifestyle like? Is it more sedentary, active? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of tailing off. I mean, I've, I've worked in a factory all my life mm. and um, in that I've been working in textiles. Okay. But, you know, I'm almost 60, so I'm, I've cut down part time and kids are older and etc. So right. less pressure. Okay, that's fine. So, Mr. Smith, based on what you've told me today, I would like you to refer you for some further investigations. All right. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping it's not anything serious. So one of the differentials uh, that we're, we're looking towards could be potentially something serious, but I want to rule out a few things first. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll get a urine sample. Mm -hmm. So that will give us an indication of whether it's truly is blood, anything like that. Mm -hmm. And we'll get some blood tests as well. Okay. This will be able to tell us about your kidney functions and these kind of things. Okay. All right. Just based on the symptoms you've told me about the weight loss, um, you know, feeling a bit lethargic mm. and, you know, this potentially this blood in the urine, mm. I potentially want to Based on these symptoms, I want to refer you to a fast-track weight clinic. Okay. Okay. Some of these symptoms that you've described may point towards a more sinister diagnosis. Such as? Um, I don't want to scare you, and, but it's something I must be upfront and honest about. Sometimes these symptoms can be uh, associated with uh, bladder cancer. Okay. I mean, to be honest, I, that was what I was worried about in mm -hmm. origin, and I, I'm glad you've kind of um, almost come to that conclusion. Mm -hmm. um, what happens now? Well, it's not a definite conclusion for now. We'll send you for some tests and potentially there will be some imaging done, perhaps some scans. Also, they may ask you to have a, a camera test, mm -hmm. which will look at the bladder as well. So that will give you us further insight on exactly what's going on. Um, but the urology team at the hospital will, will see you and sort of decide exactly what, what needs to be done here. Okay. Okay. And this is normally... It's called a two-week wait because it's normally done within two weeks. Right. And if you don't hear anything, then contact us immediately and then we'll, we'll chase that up for you. Okay. No, uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, um, okay. Yeah, that, that's my pleasure. And I'm sorry that this is uh, what I've told you today. Obviously, we want to rule out these serious things and catch them early if possible. Yeah. Okay. If your symptoms change, for example, if you're unable to pass urine at all, or if, for example, there's r very red urine, such as, you know, it's actually bleeding, the red blood coming out, then that's something that you need to get to A&E immediately for because that's a serious sign. Okay, well, right. thank you. So I'll get that referral sorted now and we'll do some uh, other checks like the urine test and the blood test as well, okay? Mm -hmm. Any questions? None at all. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.